This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Tuesday, May 18th of 2021. Uh, for I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. Um, I said in an update, I don't know, probably about a year ago, um, that it is rare to do an update on the same topic two days in a row, but the exception seems to be COVID-19. Um, and updates about that. So yesterday we did our weekly update, and uh, and today at 3:30 uh, was the um, city of Lincoln's uh, weekly press conference, where they announced changes to the risk dial. So not to bury the lead, um, they announced today about an hour ago that the COVID-19 risk dial in Lincoln is now at green. That comes with a lot of things, including changes to the directed health measure, uh, the end of weekly press conferences um, every every Tuesday at 3.30, um, and a lot of changes. This, along with the CDC's guidance last week, um, obviously has enormous impacts for us, along with every other church and business and, and family in Lincoln. So... What I'm going to ask us all to do is to just take some time and, and process. I have no idea right now how to incorporate the guidance that I just heard an hour ago into my life as a human being who lives in Lincoln um, or my life as a person helping to to chart the path forward for this congregation. I know that it will have an impact, I just don't know what yet. So give us a little bit of time. We've got a meeting of the reentry task force tomorrow night that's been on the books for uh, about a month. Um, obviously we'll have a lot to talk about and if we have decisions that come out of that meeting I will we will, as a church, announce them as soon as we can. Um, I'm going to add a note of caution that it is possible that we will need more than 24 hours to fully decide what our path forward is. And if that happens, that's because we're taking the time to do it right rather than jumping into anything. I know there's a, probably a lot of excitement from some people. Um, with this announcement. I know I'm excited at what it means we can potentially do soon. And, and, there's a lot of concern over what this means, right? It is, it is the reality that nobody under 12 can get vaccinated yet. I have a three-year-old at home who is not vaccinated and won't be for some time. Long COVID is a real thing and a real risk for young folks, even if the risk of death is lower. So I, I want both to acknowledge the, the real success right now and, and the real celebration that we heard from the city and that, and that many of us share, as well as, as, well as this sense of uncertainty and, and concern over what happens next. We will be in full communication <laughs> as we go through this next couple of weeks of decision-making at the church, our... Uh, our watchword since this pandemic started has has been that we will be transparent about what the decisions that we're making are and why we're making them that will continue to be the case um just give us some time all right have a great night everybody um if if you are celebrating congratulations if you are uh if you are concerned um know that know that you are not alone in your worry and your anxiety about what comes next um Best wishes to all. I'll see you tomorrow.